In this video, we'll balance the equation Mg plus H3PO4 gives us this magnesium phosphate plus hydrogen gas. Let's add the atoms up. We have one magnesium, three hydrogens, and since I have a PO4 here, the phosphate ion, and then over here I have PO4 again, I'm just going to call it one thing, and that'll make balancing a lot easier. So I have one phosphate ion, one PO4 right here. I have three magnesium atoms, two hydrogens, and on this side, I have two PO4s. So I'll just put a two right here. Why don't we fix the PO4s? We could just put a coefficient of two in front of the H3PO4, the phosphoric acid, and this two will apply to everything here. We have three times two. That gives us six hydrogens. And then we have the phosphate, the PO4. We have one of those times two, and that'll give us two PO4s. So now the PO4s are balanced. Hydrogens aren't balanced, but we could put a coefficient of three in front of the H2, two times three. That'd give us six hydrogen atoms. And then all that's left to fix are the magnesium atoms. We have three on the product side and only one on the reactant. So we'll just put a three right here. One times three, that gives us three. And this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Mg plus H3PO4. Gives us this Mg3PO4 plus H2. Thanks for watching.